Well, here we are trying to put on the skins after the wheel wells are in. And so when this is ready, I've test fit this so many times, but you can see where that wheel well fits, snaps right into place, which is great. And now I have to just very carefully test fit, test fit, test fit to make sure that things fit, the skin fits around. I'm spending a lot of time shaping it. And here are these little tools I bought that are round and they allow me to go around and sort of tease the paper into the right shape. I'm trying to get the leading edge to already make a, a curve. The, that's the trick to all this paper modeling it seems like. If you can make the paper do what you want before you even apply glue, you're going to get a much better fit. It just takes a lot of patience and, and tweaking. But I'm trying to do the same thing here with that leading edge just to sort of suggest to the paper where I want it to go. Um, and it takes a lot of, again, test fitting. But I feel pretty confident at this point, so I go ahead and I add glue. So I put it along all these places where it needs to go, don't put too much on. And then I go ahead and snap this thing in place. Boom. And then I tease the pieces together so that the little overlap tabs are attached. That's the first thing I do, Realize, remembering that I got glue on the other parts on the underside that have to be make connections and start to dry, start to grab. Um, but all I do with my thumbs is work my way down the spar, work my way down where the ribs are. You can feel where they are in the, under the skin, making sure all my panel lines are still lined up where they are, which is amazing. They look great. Checking out the leading edge a little bit, I'm going to start rolling this over at some point, so I have to make sure it's okay. I set it on a flat surface and I kind of press down gently, because I know that the bottom of the ribs and the bottom of the spar should all be flat, so if I push a little bit, the glue should make contact uh, a little bit. And now I'm going to attempt to bring that top flap over on the curved part of the wing. Uh, which has already been turned slightly into a curve, uh, a little bit to follow the the already existing curve on the ribs. Um, but what I'm doing here is trying to pull up that front end a little bit so I make sure it's actually coming in contact with the front rib curve. Because what I found when I test fitted was when I pull that thing over, it's not quite hitting the edge. So now I've done that a little bit in that speed up portion. Um, now I carefully add glue along these tabs that um, we put in earlier and along all of the ribs and the spars. Um, I don't really like the way it looks when it's done because you can see where you put the glue through the skin. You can see these areas of hardened um, like demarcation and I don't see that on paper modelers creations when they're really good and they know what they're doing. So maybe what you need to do is only glue the edges, I'm not sure. But in any event, the edge of the wing, I put a little bit of glue on the edge, not a lot, because that's one place where you start squeezing that leading it or that trailing edge together, you'll get a uh, an effect. You look like a spatula or something. It looks really bad. It looks really flat. Um, and so uh, part of that's the design of the airplane, because some of them have extra reinforcement in the trailing edge. This one doesn't. Um, but now you, you've committed with glue and you got to bring this over and start trying to attach it. And you'll notice when I get done with this, it takes a couple times to get it right. And I also am trying to pull and tug, but I don't quite have it. There's a little piece of trailing edge near the wing root that ends up being white that I cannot, I cannot get rid of. And then I overcompensate on the wing tip. I pull it down, I'm really pleased but I neglect to look at the bottom, so I actually went a little overboard on the on the top piece. So it folded over too far on the tip and not quite far enough on the wing root. But you get it as best you can and you smooth it out with your thumbs and you live with it. So this is sped up only because it's just a lot of tweaking and pushing and squeezing and making sure things are straight. A little more glue here and there. Um, trying now to make sure it's flat. So I have to make sure that the wing tip doesn't have any wash out or wash in. In this case, it does wash out or 
wash in, I'm sorry. So I have to later figure out a way to sort of bend that back into place. Um, and that's sort of a problem, I think, with these a little bit. Oh, there's a part that's white that I should have covered, um, but I could not get the piece to go over. And the wingtip, you can't see on the picture, but there's definitely white there from the top surface thing. Over here. So I take a marker and I try to sort of hide it a little bit, and it overall looks pretty good. Uh, here I am trying to get the wash out, or put some wash out into it, get, uh, get rid of the wash in. I'm twisting it ever so slightly, and that works pretty well. I think that's a problem with these kits, is that I think I prefer more structure. I think you need more ribs in there and more strength. But later on, I'll try to build another one, and I'll make it with wood spars and see if that makes a difference. Um, or it's just ineptness, and I have to shape the paper better and be more careful. But every time I build one of these, I end up with a twisted wing slightly. This one's not as bad as some, so I'm getting a little better. But it's not the way it should be. Now here I speed this up because I realized I forgot my wing tip. So the wing tip is cut out with little uh, relief tip parts on the tip. Uh, and here I use these little rounded tools to sort of both put a curve in the whole piece so that it will kind of fit over that edge because it has to be curved. And also use the little tip of this ball to sort of form the uh, curve around the edge. And I'm doing this on top of a little mouse pad because it gives you a little bit of Depression, you can you can you can squish it a little bit and help form the paper. Um, then it's a matter of adding glue and sticking this on here. Now the reason this is sped up, besides the fact that you would die of boredom, uh, is that I spent almost as much time putting that stupid wing tip on as I spent putting that whole wing panel on. It took a long time to get it to look half decent. But now it's exciting because now, gosh, this is the first time I put it up against the fuselage and it fits like a glove. It's unbelievable. Um, I mean, again, the design is such that it's, you know, if you take care, wow. And now you put this on there, man, does it look like an airplane. It's starting to really look like a Messerschmitt. Um, so now I'm pleased that it fits. I think it's pretty straight. Now I carefully add some glue. There are some tabs on there in the wing root that are folded in under the uh, cockpit tub and they provide a nice surface for glue so I got to attach those pretty well and get enough, enough glue on those because it's pretty critical to get this nice and nice and strong um, and then I put some glue up into the curves where the leading edge of the wing goes uh, on both sides um, put a little excess on but I can get rid of the uh, get rid of the extra glue that squishes out pretty easily uh, and then I decided to, I better put some underneath this chin piece that fits on the top of the wing. And I realized, like a fool, that, you know, right about here, you can just do that by putting the glue on the wing itself, dummy. So that works much better. So here I am putting the, fixing that a little bit, spread it out. And then you go ahead and you add the, uh, put the wing on there. And, uh, oh. I put a little bit on the trailing edge because that's, but not all the way across. I just want it in the center because the parts on the edges are going to be squished and formed under the wing fillets when we put those on next. So, leading edge goes in, trailing edge lines up on the mark and is pushed down with my thumb. And then you spend a lot of time just making sure you get rid of excess glue, making sure it is square to your satisfaction. Um, and uh, in this case, there's a lot of excess glue, at least on one wing, one wing root. So I take an old brush and I kind of go along the edges. And uh, there you can see a lot of glue squished out. Uh, and I try to get rid of that. It's going to be covered by the fillet, but you may as well work as neat as you can. It's a good habit to get into. Uh, but now it, it, it's together. It, it looks like you know, an actual airplane. It looks like a Messerschmitt. And again, you can see some of the ribs underneath the paper on the skins, which I'm not fond of, but at the same time, um, you know, it doesn't look horrible. I just think I need, personally, more ribs to make it look even cleaner and get rid of that spar look. Uh, but for sitting down and being done and being a nice paper model, gosh, it looks really good. And, uh, you know, there you see the finished product. So now it's on to the uh, wing fillets and the underwing radiators. Good deal. Really does look nice.
good size. Cool.